Are you confused on how to attach the shock cords to your eBay? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. We get a lot of questions from customers asking us um, how to hook up an eBay. Uh, typically, there's two shock cords, one on each end, and one is longer than the other. And the question is, which one goes where? Does the long one go in front or does the long one go in back? The answer to that is based on how you are deploying the drogue chute. Now, typically your drogue chute is in the back because the rocket motor acts as a backup. So this is the part of the rocket that has the rocket motor in it. And it has the motor which has a, a delay in it. So say that delay was um, 10 seconds. Um, so at 10 seconds, it's going to throw out its ejection charge and push everything out. Well, the eBay also controls that. Uh, but we want to use the engine as a backup in case the electronics doesn't work properly. So they're both pushing out the first parachute. Um, so if the eBay pushes out the first parachute with the drogue attached, and then a couple seconds later, this fires off, the motor ejection charge fires off. So basically what happens is the eBay, um, this, this back section is already out. So when the ejection charge goes off, it just blows out into the air, which is fine. Now the main parachute goes in the front end. Um, so now at this point, the rocket's coming down and when it gets close to the ground, that's where your altimeter is set to pop off the main and blows the nose cone off and then the main parachute comes out and this will happen about 600 to 400 feet in the air so you don't have to walk far and that's the whole purpose of dual deployment so what you want is the long shock cord in the back so this would be anchored into the back of the rocket now typically your long shock cord is about three times the length of the rocket. Longer is better. If it's longer than that, that's okay. Um, I prefer it that way because what happens is um, on this one, the rocket is still traveling at a high rate of speed. Now, when you, it's going straight up, you would think that it stops, but rockets never go straight up. They always arc a little bit. So it has forward velocity in a direction other than up. And because it's moving that way, there's a little bit of stress on, on this shock cord. So you want it to eject a long way so that it has a chance to slow down. Now, if it doesn't have a chance to slow down, what's going to happen is it's, as soon as it pops off, it's going to peel backwards because there's air resistance. And that air resistance is going to peel it backwards. And what happens is, you can see, it's dragging along the top of the tube and it could cut into that tube and that's called a zipper when the shock cord cuts along the tube that is a zipper and that's what we want to prevent and you prevent that by having a long shock cord so that the shock cord can go way out before it starts coming backwards so that's why the long cord goes on the back so this would get stuffed into the back let me stuff it in here so it's out of the way Okay, and now the short cord, why is the, short, why is the one in front short? Shouldn't it also be long? Well, once the rocket is coming down in two separate pieces, it's going slow. There's no forward velocity anymore. It's just coming down. So when the ejection charge, the main chute ejection charge goes off, you don't have a lot of forces trying to zipper the tube. So now this one, this is the main parachute, and it would be longer than this. This is pretty short. I would probably make it at least twice this long. But I just didn't want it to get all tangled here in the, in the studio. So this eBay, on this eBay there would be rivets here to hold it to, all together. So all this stays the same and the, the, the drogue chute gets attached here. Now if, if you don't have room on the back end of the rocket, what you do is you take your shock cord you stretch it out and you do a simple overhand knot 
like that. And now I have a loop where I can attach the drogue chute. Giving you a lot of good tips here. Okay, so now the main chute, come on, what's going on here? The shock cord's on the outside. The main chute gets attached to the nose cone, so you would attach this to the nose cone. I'm just doing a simple knot here just to do it quick. And then the, the main chute, assuming this is the main chute, you attach this also to the nose cone. So you just put it through the loop. And if your loop's not big enough, you do the same trick. You, you take the shock cord and you make a loop there. And you just pass the canopy back through it. Make sure all your lines are even. Like that. So now my main chute is attached. And then everything gets prepped like you would a normal rocket. Now, setting up dual deployment is a little bit more tricky. Um, we have videos on how to do it. You'll find them over here on the side. It's the level two rocket kit. Um, that's the, the one that I explain how to set up dual deployment. Uh, we also have videos on assembling this eBay for the Aerotech kits, which is, this is an Aerotech, um, I think it's a strong arm. Yep, yep strong arm. Um, and so you would, if you wanted to add an eBay to this kit, uh, we have videos on how to do that. Uh, my name is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.